I'm Eric Dometa. And I am Matt. And welcome back to Mindbreakers. Yippee! It is the last episode before we start Halloween. Oh. Which means we're going to watch a... I'm, I've been trying to make this a thing for a while, so sure. I figured make it a thing now. Um, there are movies that are Halloween movies, mm. but not part of a franchise yeah. to make the Halloween specials. Sure. So I'm thinking of either the first or the last, or the, the first day or the first day after. Mm. Either before or after Halloween, episode-wise. Yeah. Something Halloween. Sure, sure. Probably before, because we're usually tired of Halloween by the end of it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what we got today. A little movie called Trick or Treat. A.K.A. Ragman. Not to be confused with Trick or Treat, with just an R. Yeah. Uh, th- that's from 2007. This is from t- 1986. Interesting. Rated R. Oh, boy. 5.9 out of 10. Not bad. A bullied teenage boy is devastated after the death of his heavy metal idol, Sammy Kerr. But as Halloween night approaches, he discovers that he may be the only one who can stop Sammy from making a satanic comeback from beyond the grave. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's a left turn. What the fuck? <laughs> It's, we have a few uh, familiar faces in this movie, or shall I say, familiar voices, Aww. with Gene Simmons, oh, yeah? yes, that one, <laughs> and Ozzy Osbourne, the Prince of Darkness himself, oh, yippee. as a hilariously ironic casting choice. <laughs> what else are you going to do with Ozzy in a movie? Uh, okay, so we got some good old rock and metal icons. Top Gun. What is the Canadian French language plot outline for Trick or Treat? Why the fuck would I know that? Who cares? <laughs> what did we change it? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, let's watch Trick or Treat. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, this sounds interesting. I can't wait. Let's do it. Fucking heavy metal. Fucking heavy metal. We both like metal, so. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it will be a treat for us. Let's watch this shit. Let's do it. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's body time! Rock and roll will never die. At least not this Halloween. I've heard of raising spirits from the dead by incantations, right? Yes. I did that by playing the record backwards. You're kidding. Sammy Kerr. He's a rock and roll nightmare. I am a big fan of yours. I've got all your records. Shut up! We are the bay, and they is you. This message was meant for me. How can you listen to this stuff? Rock and roll! Rock and roll! Shut it off! Shut it off! to your stereo. I wanted a new one. Sammy Kerr. His fans won't let him die. He won't let them live. You should be loyal to your hero. They can turn on you. I will never understand the, well, if you play this backwards, it's satanic thing, and who even thinks to do that? <laughs> I, I want to know the first guy that did it. Oh, I was going through his head. Do you get lucky and just get a fucking record that sounded like something? But It also, it becomes progressively less logical the, the further back, like, the more technology advances. Mm. Because, okay, a record, it's out there, you can yeah. turn it, fine. But cause with an 8-track, or with a CD, fuck, you can't do it with this. With an MP3 track, even, it's... Yeah. Like, 
the more technology advances, the more we prevent accidental demon summoning by playing rock music backwards. And like, yeah, okay, you could open an MP3 file in some audio program and flip it, but you gonna do that? No. No, of course not. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> Don't pretend that you would. It's so. There's this uh, this kid who listens. We we see his room, all his metal posters, Iron Maiden, great stuff. Ozzy Osbourne. Don't think he had an Iron Maiden poster. Then yeah, I could swear I saw one. I know he had an Ozzy Osbourne poster, which is odd, considering. Same with the Kiss poster. He did have a Kiss poster. He had a Kiss poster. Um, I know he had an Impaler album, and mm. he had the Megadeth album with the, yeah. the, like, oh, the famous the, the Motley Skull Crue one. Was somewhere in there too. Yeah, Motley Crue was there. I don't think he had because like Maiden posters are very distinct. Yeah, maybe. like I know most of them. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was Megadeth I was thinking of then. I mean, he may have had like Iron Maiden on on like a sticker or a button, oh, maybe, but yeah. he didn't have. I, I I there was no Eddie the Head in this movie, so there was no Iron Maiden. Post. You fucking shouldn't have. You should have had one. Yeah, you should have. The fuck. Wouldn't you wouldn't have gotten into this shit if he, if his favorite was Iron Maiden, not fucking Sammy Kerr. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this kid is your basic 80s metal-loving teenager. Mm-hmm. Denim vest, long hair. Gotta give this movie. I mean, give this movie. This movie's actually... I, I quite like this yeah, movie. This is fun. Yeah. But as opposed to like, the usual thing where uh, in 80s movie, movies like this, uh, Power Rangers had this too. It was like, oh, it's high school. It's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, these are high school kids. I think this... And Breakfast Club mm. are the best for like you can believe these are whether or not the actors are yeah but you can believe these are uh, yeah Breakfast Club especially good oh, for fucking fantastic film. fantastic film I mean he's listening to the to, to his music writing yeah, the letter to uh, listen to the radio uh, and watching TV and uh, there's Sammy Kerr who had graduated the same high school as him. Yeah. He wanted to go back and do a show there for Halloween night, but the town council was like, no, fuck you. We Metal is evil. It's the devil's work. Which, I mean, they're technically right in this, which is a yes. weird pull. Yes. It's also, like, obviously, the Sammy Kerr is the, he's the, he's the killer in this movie. Yeah. But, weirdly, I don't know why. I would think like if he, he was in a car. It was his. He, it, his death was an accident. Like if he was killed, yeah. Fuck, like he had no reason to be doing any of the shit he was doing. He's just a dick. Which yeah, I mean, like I guess you could say like Oz Town never created him right. Banned him. Banned his music. Like okay, maybe, but I don't think that warrants killing people. Yeah, like it has the setup of a revenge quest thing like yeah. a revenge for me on the grave thing but he's not getting revenge for anyone he's just killing random people yeah like like our like, like our, our arc eddie has reasons to get a like vengeance on someone but even as we learn later the vengeance he just wanted it to be like pranks and it, he, he has a really and he fucking has a very good reason to good revenge prank uh but you know uh, sam just wants to fucking be evil and shit because it's a dick. Because he's a dick. But they're talking about Gene Simmons is on TV. No, Gene Simmons is a uh, nuke. He's the radio DJ, and I don't know why this. Um, Eddie is the kid. Yeah, Eddie's the kid. Well, Eddie's like acts so miserable if he. You got like a cool mentor bud friend who works in the radio yeah, I don't station. Bullying school helps. Yeah, that, that's not great, but yeah. it's not like you're alone, dude. Yeah, he's even got a. A dude friend yeah, he's just always constantly dude. worried about him. Like uh, to start the movie, he finds out that Sammy dies, hmm. and like you said, the the accident. He's like, hey man, how you holding up? Yeah, he walks up. He's like, yo, are you doing okay? I'm doing fine because I thought this news would like mess you up. Yeah, I'm I'm good. He's like, well, you need to talk. I'm here. We talk. Which I'm like, damn. It's nice to see a friend character in the '80s. It's not a fucking joke character. <laughs> or a fucking um, the guy from Fright Night. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! The bully? Yeah. Uh, which one, Tim? Tim. Yeah. He's in Teen Wolf. Oh, nice. Presumably, is the same character, Brad. Nice, nice. He's in Godzilla. Like the Matthew Roderick one? Yeah. The fuck? So, a guy called Sergeant O'Neill. Oh, he's probably like one of the yeah. Okay. 
He's in the SWAT TV. He's in NCIS. What the fuck? In only two episodes. But. I mean, shit. Good for you, man. Hell yeah. He's done a lot of stuff. Good. And one one. That's a show. Okay, apparently. Okay. Sure is, yeah. Don't watch a lot of cop shows. I used to watch NCIS. Yes, yeah, Sam. But they went on too long. They don't wait too long. I think a show after a show gets ten seasons, it's a, it's a bit of a dry spell for me. That's weird. He's in both Godzilla the movie and Godzilla the series. As hey. two different characters. Hell yeah. That's a, that's a, that is in Maniac Cop 3. He's in Columbo. Yo. He was in Columbo, No Time to Die. Hell yeah. Columbo mentioned. Good One more thing. My wife. My wife. In the Heat of the Night. Can't retreat. Alfred Hitchcock presents? Oh, 86. That was still running in 86? Fuck. Huh. Dun, 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 Anyway. He, um... So he goes to school, they puncture his chocolate milk. Yeah, bullies just kind of are fucking mean to him for no real reason other than he likes metal. Yeah. Um... Girl asks him if he's coming to the pool party. Uh, Leslie, oh, well, the love interest. Because they, well, fucking, they, uh, they pick on him in the shower. Yeah. Steal his tape. Steal his towel, then knock him into the gym. where the And then they lock the door. They lock the door. And then one of the girl volleyball players takes, takes a photo of him. And, hey, you know what you can do, uh, Eddie? Okay, get a you lawyer. can press charges <laughs> for that. <laughs> like, if she takes, if she, if the pictures go up anywhere. Oh, yeah. You can sue or ask for sexual harassment. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, luckily it seems he got the photo, so it didn't go anywhere. Hmm. And yeah, Leslie asks him if he's going to the pool party. He's like, fuck. Uh, the, the party. No, the, the party. Pool. The party at the pool. The, the pool party. The, poo- the, the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> uh, and he does go. For but some... first, he, he, he's hanging with Nuke. Oh, yeah, And yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, we I, I have the special record. That uh, Sammy put out because if I don't Sammy, because yeah, Sammy died. Oh yeah, because uh, and I get to play the last it. Thing they play. I get to play it on Halloween, and they listen. They listen to it a bit. He bore. He I think he steals the record. I thought he, I thought it was given to him at first. I mean, I okay. I I want to say yes, but I have I, I um I've known people with uh, do radio things. Mm. You're. You're not going to lend out the one of a kind, <laughs> only copy of the record to fucking anybody, even if you trust them. Yeah. Hell, you're not going to take that shit home. Yeah, you're. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess like because I mean, like near the end, I mean, they have the song anyway, hmm. so it's possible he probably like recorded it somewhere yeah. just in case, and then he gave the record to Eddie because I mean Eddie fucking worshipped this guy, so he's probably like, well, I'm not going to fucking keep it. Probably so it's it's, def- it's probably not the record. Yeah, it's, yeah. Because like, of course, it's a studio demo. Even this thing was never released. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, he starts hearing shit by playing it backwards. And he starts talking to it because he had like a dream mm-hmm. where he told him to play it backwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he goes to the pool party, and he's not in a swimsuit. Weirdly enough, he's just in normal clothing with his backpack on, and he's told that he's creepy. And it's even worse. I does if it was normal, he'd realize how creepy he is. And then Tim puts a weight in his backpack and shoves him in the pool. And this is the kind of thing. Like I'm baffled how quickly high school bullies in these movies jump to just. Attempted murder. <laughs> it's so funny because you had a joke about that too while we were watching it. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna get the kind of bullying that's just attempted murder," and uh, here we are. Fucking Jesus! Luckily, Leslie rushes in to save him because mm. no one else does. Which I mean, I don't know what Tim would have done if Eddie didn't just the ground. Yeah. Because are you going to get everyone at this pool party to not... Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sure your friends are going to clam up, but other people are like, dude, fucking Tim just murdered yeah, Eddie. Are you really going to somehow, I know what you did last summer with 30 plus people? <laughs> like, I don't think that's happening, but someone's breaking at some point. Like, like Why would, like, 
Okay, this is the thing. Shoving him in the pool yeah. is one thing. Yeah. It, it's fucking... It's bullying. Don't fucking do it. But adding the weight... Oh, it's intense. That adds a level of premeditation yeah. as well. <laughs> like, he's thought about that. And finally, he gets to out, like live out his fantasy. Like, holy shit. And, and this is the worst possible way you could have done it, too, like, if this goes to trial. Because if you had just... If you had shoved him in the water... Assault, still. If you had just whacked him with the weight... Yeah. That could be technically second degree. No, uh, don't put it in his that fucking... Could be, that could be third degree. Yeah, don't Fine. put it in his fucking backpack. But the, 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 the forethought of putting it in his backpack and shoving him into the water, you're going into first degree murder territory. Oh, yeah. Like, you're... <laughs> like, it's no longer assault. It's attempted murder. That, that's, that's a murder. <laughs> so he, he gets out. He makes a deal to get vengeance with Sammy Kerr. He said he's going to fucking nail him to Leslie because... Fuck these kids, which I agree on. Nail them all. Nail them all. He, so he, he sets up this elaborate fucking... Uh, you see him, he positions a mop bucket, he positions a chair, yeah. and like, what the fuck are you up to? And then he goes and just, hey, Tim, like, what the fuck do you want? Bashes his tray of food into his face. I'm like, kill him, and then he darts across the tables. And then they run, it's the big ch- chase through the school, like... Peeling off members of the group Tim goes with because hey Tim big man you're going after someone half your size with a crew yeah, yeah fucking like, po- you're a pussy yeah tab- the tables being moved one dude fucking falls into them we got the uh, one guy hitting the chair in the hallway yeah fucking rolls into lockers my personal favorite which is the dude who slips on the water <laughs> and then fucking flies at like a sixty degree angle and we never off the stairs and, and we never see, see him again <laughs> presumed dead. I ha- he go on a train. I have never seen him again. <laughs> and that's why I no longer buy things on Gumtree. <laughs> then they have, he he so Eddie goes. He hides in a room. Uh, they don't know what room he hides in. Yeah. They gr- he so they gr- he Tim grabs a, f- a a fire extinguisher, which I was kind of worried about. Because, yeah, you could spray that. You could also... I'm, I'm almost convinced he was just going to kill Eddie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the fire extinguisher. But he kicks open the door and sprays inside. This fucker. But, but it's the teacher's lounge. <laughs> and he sprays all the teachers. And you see his face of... Oh, no. <laughs> it was it was in this moment he realized he <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Eddie's in the background laughing, sprints out of there. Because why wouldn't you? And then he did it. He got the vengeance on the people. Yippee. And he get and he get they get fucking janitorial duty for the whole morning, which seems like not a, enough for. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay, you kiss. <laughs> you did technically assault this t- this teaching staff. Yeah, no, for, yeah, I can't believe they just got morning janitorial duty. I'm, I'm assuming it's several days. Um, yeah, I would assume so as well. And, you know, Eddie goes home, listens to, to talks to the speaker man. Yeah. And he's like, oh, we did it. We, we, we won. And he's like, I right, 66. All of them. 66 oh. Crush. 66 Crush. All of them. All right, that's, is that a song title? He goes to room 66, the wood shop. Yep. Uh, bullshit, the wood teacher is not in here right now, screaming at people to get out. <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, because it's like, see me at lunchtime or something. Like, the wood shop, I, I don't know why there are... It's also weird that there are, like, normal desks and chairs in the wood shop. I don't know, weird that the door was unlocked. He goes in there to eat a Twinkie. Eat a Twinkie and listen to the... I remember when Twinkies were this big. Yeah. No, I don't, actually. It was before... I just knew Twinkies from comic books. Yeah, man. Until I finally tasted one and was grossly disappointed. I mean, yeah. Because I know them from comic books and Hostess Twinkies were like, there's a villain and then the superhero's like, haha, villain. Twinkies. Hostess Twinkies. <laughs> like, oh, yes, all right. <laughs> Fruit pies more than anything. Yeah. That's actually, there's a game, there's the PS2 version of Spider-Man 3. Which has several missions, like submissions, yeah. involving Hostess Fruit Pies. Hell yeah. And yes, thank you. 
And he, he, we even get the line, well, if there are no hostess fruit pies, what am I going to use to distract villains? So I, I, I like jokes like that, because that's a joke that says, like, there's, okay, we were given the license to make movies. Yeah. And then there's a joke like that, which is, you are a fa- not necessarily a fan of Spider-Man comics, but you're a fan of comics. Oh, yeah. To, to get to to know that. <laughs> ah, good. Shouts to Hulk's just... <laughs> so, uh, they're going to kill him on the, uh... Well, he throws him onto the ground mm-hmm. and starts throwing wrenches at him. Yeah. And then he gets caught in the conveyor belt thing. Yeah, because t- it starts up and his tie gets caught in the wheel for the, uh, the drill. Yeah. The press. And... <sighs> The, the big drill starts moving towards his... Face. And sparks are blowing out the other side oh, yeah. so his friend doesn't, can't come help him. And... Tim. Why... Do you... Do you honestly believe the kid you have been bullying and you have, with great seriousness, informed you plan to kill him... <laughs> Do you honestly expect him to sit to get you out of this? He does. Because he's but, a better man yeah, than you. But, like, good lord. Yeah, and then what does he do after that's over? So we're not fucking we're done. Fucking he's done. Like, it's like, you want to get back in the machine? <laughs> true enough. Go back. Let me finish what I started. My bad. So he, um, he makes a very shiny tape. As a peace offering? Yep. Yeah. And he, he puts it on Tim's locker. And so he's ma- Tim's making out with the girl who called uh, called the called him creepy. Can't remember her name. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Also, Eddie's living the time of his life now. Yep, he's actually doing okay. Unfortunately, he skipped uh, the he midterm. Skip midterm, so he's kind of fucked. Uh, but I thought this was going in the realm of like, I was that fucking Christine with the car one. Hmm. I thought it was going into a realm of that at first because he started acting like Sammy a bit. I thought we were gonna get a Christine thing, but now I didn't know. He, he, he's just he's just feeling life, which I get. Yeah. His bullies are fucking actually getting tormented for once. Raindrops keep falling on his head. Yeah. Uh, so they're yeah, they're they're making out in the car. Make out point. Yeah. The the gir- uh, Tim and the Tim and his girlfriend. And then she started. She listens. He goes out to take a piss. How romantic. Yeah. Also, long as. Piss walk of my life, Jesus. Well, they're on a tree, almost treeless hill. Ah, come on, man. So she starts listening to the music, and like green smoke comes out of it. Forms a hand in one place. It, it's really, if you've seen Ten Commandments, it's the angel of death from Ten Commandments. Oh, yeah. yeah basically, yeah. comes out of it. And the walls will drip green slime. I don't know, I always do that. Yeah, uh, things are feel happening. the hands feel feel her up, takes her bra off, and then turns into like a big skeleton demon and attacks her, and then she has to go to the hospital. Yeah, because when Tim gets back, like the earphones melt yeah. in her ears, basically. Cool effect. And Tim go like throws rocks at Bruce. Uh, there's an earlier scene where Brewster, uh, Brewster, this isn't Friday night, um, <laughs> where Eddie's mom is putting clothes in his room. And man, and uh, the radio almost actually turns on. Yeah. And he has like an almost Jack Nicholson in The Shining moment. <laughs> I was putting your clothes away. Thank you. Thank you. That's the scene. <laughs> Can I ask his mom, by the way? Yeah, just. Gotta be the most like respectable privacy parent in the 80s. Like, even when he takes the baseball bat to the stereo, like, I mean, that's why she grounds him. Yeah. Because the fuck, I... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> this is a lot of fucking equipment. This is not cheap, kid. Let's get a new one. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I tried to his mom. It's like how Francine tried to have her bike stolen. So her dad would buy her a new one. Yeah. And then she felt bad because she was being awful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Eddie starts. Also, I don't know what what Mr. French is doing with his money because he's a fucking garbage man. They get paid a fuck ton. Yeah, for real. Like for obvious reasons. Yeah, 
What do you mean you... Are you in debt to fucking the mob, a.k.a. Mr. Crosswire? Maybe. Like, is that what... Maybe. <laughs> no, like Eddie starts talking to the tape again and me like, hey, uh... So we gotta stop. Yeah, like, they no. went to the hospital, bro. Like, the, the vengeance is done. Just, uh, Tim blames Ed, Eddie. Yeah. Because Tim is... Oh, well, Tim goes to his house. Yeah, he throws like, rocks at us. Like, hey, what, the, what did you do? What the fuck? You, what do you mean, what did I do? You were used, like, magic or something. Like, the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, he magic? tries to step up and the flames come up. He's like, Listen, don't come near me, man. You started this, motherfucker. Come at me with your weird shit. Your voodoo witchcraft shit. Unfortunately, Tim's still in the movie after this. He gets worse. Yeah. So, he's talking to... to to Sammy, he's like, "Hey, man, like, I think, I think it's cool now. We're fine. We he got revenge. We got the re- went a little far, but you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I may not have been clear on what I actually wanted to do. That's, that's on, that's on me. Kill him. I had to kill them all. Like, no, we're not going to kill anybody. That's no, no. What's the angle? Gonna what? And then he oh. cut, pops out. It's like you betrayed me. I'm your hero. You're supposed to fall, respect your heroes. Yeah. Like he emerges fully from the." Oh yeah, we got Ozzy Osbourne TV. Yeah, talking about how metal is evil and sexual perversion, and then Sammy kills him with the Force. What happened to the love songs? I love you. And then he whack. <laughs> and then he beats the shit out of him. It is bat. fucking ironic that that's Ozzy. <laughs> it looks so funny too, like. Mr. Crowley. Tiny bald man. What happened? Well, he has like a Beatles haircut. Yeah, 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 little Beatles haircut. It's just like, it's hard to recognize Gene Simmons as just a dude yeah. in this. It's hard to re- recognize Ozzy Osbourne like with the, the clean cut, no black clothes, no glasses, short hair. Yeah, like if he didn't speak, I wouldn't have been able to guess that was Ozzy, I think. But then he spoke and I was like, oh yeah, it's Ozzy Osbourne. Like... Right? Night, it's clear as day, it's him. Gotta do Hellraiser with, uh, with Lubby. Yeah. I think that was kind of, that actually was pretty recent after this. Mm, 86? 80, 86? Yeah, probably, yeah. Around. I know it's included in a movie that it doesn't fit the tone of at all. <laughs> Hellraiser 3. Oh, oh yeah? Don't worry about that. Yeah, Hellraiser, the song Hellraiser and the Hellraiser movies are not, do not really have the same tone. No, no they don't. So, he beats up Hysteria, and that's when he gets why get, when he gets grounded. He um, calls his friend. His friend listens to the the track, and well, Sammy he, goes. He tells him to break the tape. To break the tape, and Sammy's like, uh, "Well, it's a shiny tape. I'm gonna listen to it." He breaks into Tim's car with a coat hanger. Yeah, my favorite part is like, "You're not fucking good at breaking car, breaking into car." He just opens the door. He's like, "Fuck like, it, oh, my bad." Never mind. He, he gets the in. tape. He leaves the coat hanger, and then swiftly picks it back up. Bikes home. Says he destroyed the tape. He didn't. He listens to it backwards, summons Sammy. Sammy's like, yo, you gotta do something for me. He's like, I'm a big fan. I, yeah, sure. Hey, sh- shut up. I don't care. I... <laughs> Play the tape at the fucking... At the, the, the Halloween party at school. But you'll die. Hey, man, I'll play the tape. Yeah, no problem. I got... I, I'll play the tape. Don't worry. Let me get the high school the Halloween ball. This dude dresses as Humpty Dumpty, but it might just be a puppet. This dude dresses... Girl spe- dresses special cake. Yeah, that was a... Uh... Reminds I've me got of a, one I've of the lamest. M&M, but like, fuck. It reminds me of one of the lamest costumes I ever saw. Yeah. It was around. It was at Dawson. Yeah. Same year, Mike uh, dresses a tank. Yeah. This guy like wrapped himself in cellophane and backflipped. He's like, I'm bottle flipping. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. That's so dumb. He won. He won the contest oh, over our it. over our glorious metal club tank. The glorious metal club tank. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have the high school dance. He plays the tape eventually. They're listening to rap. They sure were. Which is a weird, like, yeah, that would be what they're listening to in, in when I was in high school. But it's a weird pull for them to be listening <laughs> to it. I was thinking like eighties pop or yeah. something. Like that. <laughs> and weirdly, despite the fact that everyone seemed to bully Eddie. For listening to metal. Yeah, when Sammy comes in. When Sammy comes, like, so one of the rocks, the, the, there's a band doing performing. 
one of them gets sucked into the speaker and comes out as as Sammy, and yeah. everyone's like, "Oh, that's pretty cool." And they, despite the fact that they bullied the shit out of Eddie for liking this music, they love it. The, they love Sammy. Yeah, he starts playing, and everyone's having a good time. Which is why the fuck were you? <laughs> what the fuck? What? I don't know either. Why did? Why did he have to suffer? What the fuck? Why was Tim not the one being bullied for hating metal when everyone in the school seems to love metal? Yeah, we all fuck. <laughs> uh, Leslie leaves because she didn't know where Eddie was. Hmm. And then Tim sees her leave and he's like, not he on goes my to, He goes to sexually assault her in the he's bathroom. Sure, and, and physically assault her, too. Um, and then he gets so a skinny guy, why she leaves. A skinny guy dressed as Rambo shows up to Eddie's house. Pick up his mom. And they go... Uh, he's still grounded, but he won't be grounded the next day. Got to stay home and trick or treat for the kids. You know, the kid knocks on the door, trick or treat. Come back like, tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. He, he rings again. You know what? Fuck it. Here, give it all the candy. Thank you. Like the whole bowl, and she's like, "Wow!" It's like, "Yeah, you." <laughs> you like that kid? Tenacity pulled through, and look what look what you got rewarded with. Here's all the candy. You so you like candy, do you? I'm with all the candy in the world. <laughs> Hey, uh, Eddie realizes Sam's there, uh, mm. so he goes to the high school, finds uh, his friend, whose name I can't remember, mm. tells him what happened, so he heads back inside the school. Because Sammy has been, he's been shooting lightning oh, yeah, at people did. with his guitar. He's killed at least seven people. He's been Sonic Underground. He, he killed Humpty Dumpty. He's been doing the Sonic Underground. Yeah. Sonic Underground. I was going to say, we get our final confrontation, but that's not technically true. Uh, not for a while. Yeah. There's a lot still to happen in this movie. Runs into Tim in the hallway mm. and realizes Sammy's there, so he tries to help him. And Tim tells him to fuck off and then gets killed in a very cool way. He chokes him up to the fucking... Oh, that's where I know the, um, the, the woman who was... I've been a school teacher for 37 oh, yeah. years. That's Large Marge from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Alice yeah. Nunn. Nice. Oh, yeah, she also dies. Yeah. She also gets yanked through the TV. And incinerated. Yep. Immediately. Well, she was on Night Rider. Once. Huh. She hasn't done a lot. <laughs> Murder She Wrote. Everyone's been in Murder She Wrote. <laughs> yeah. So they, uh... Killed Tim. He killed him. Um, Puts his finger in an electric socket and blows him up. He can, he's very conductive. Apparently, like the thing is, he's made of electricity. Yeah. Um, they do break the the fuse box, uh, so he fades away for a bit. Cool effect. Very, cool. very cool effects in this movie. In oh yeah, for for what it is, this movie yeah. has a great effects budget. His friend uh, uses the crowbar on it mm. to make his. He's like, let me do one thing right. And you think he dies, and he goes, I'm not dead. I'm so dead. they're like, oh, it, it's him. He did it. So the cops are after him, even though. He technically didn't do anything illegal. He didn't do anything, period. So, I mean, it doesn't say in the rules that a dog can't play basketball. <laughs> Look, there is no law against playing a record backwards and summoning a demon. This is true. It's not technically, it might be now, but it wasn't before. <laughs> yeah, you can't like, just invent a law to punish someone. Who would do that? Uh, one of the, it was one of the jock friends, too. Like, one of the bullies that said yeah. it, too. It was like, okay, fuck off, kid. Like... Yeah, and you, your your friend tried to fucking kill me. Yeah. Twice! Uh, Eddie runs away. Leslie joins him because reasons. Like, Eddie really should have just bolted and let Guy get caught in the... Yeah. Because it's not, like, you don't have to help someone in that situation. It's his... He, he was unsafe near yeah. a machine. But the... Can't prove I turned it on. Eddie tells Leslie what's going on. He's been talking to a demon. Sammy's back. Like, He's oh, like, tell me what's going on. Well, I, I, I played the tape backwards and summoned Sammy Carr. What? Okay, look, if you're not going to believe me, fuck off. I'm not going <laughs> to waste my time. It's like, no, 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 I believe you. Uh, see, she's like, did you destroy the tape? Yeah, I destroyed it, but, like, he's still here. So we gotta... Yeah, that's a problem. Um, oh, wait. Oh, they're going to play a song at midnight. So they have to get to the radio station. Well, they tried calling, but the security guard fell asleep while reading porn, I think. Mm -hmm. Which, bravo? I mean... I mean, it's a skill. 
if man. this if he's exclusively on the night shift, yeah. the fuck man. Yeah. But if he's been working both shifts, yeah. fuck you, radio station. Yeah, swap sure. swap yeah. out the shifts, or at least give him a fucking coffee. Give him a fucking coffee maker. <laughs> now they don't make it, so the song starts playing. So yep. Sammy starts popping up out of nowhere, like fucking Freddy Cooper. controlling the car, doing magic. Um, apparently, he's weak to water. I'd like to believe he's only weak to toilets. It fall, falls in the toilet. <laughs> I see how flushes him so he gets stuck longer. Yep. It's fucking great. Because he's electricity. Yeah. It's like uh, Shocker. Yeah. The movie Shocker by Wes Craven. Very similar to Shocker in how the killer operates, actually. Yeah. Let's see that movie in a long time. I was introduced to it by a free poster. Nice. That came out of a copy of Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Hell the yeah. comic series. Oh, yeah. I like movies I find out about from comic books. Yeah. And, uh, they get in a police car, mm-hmm. head to the uh, station. Everyone's dead. Yep. Well, no, that's the radio station. Oh, yeah, that's right. But they station. do steal the cop car. Yeah, they steal the cop car. Get to the radio station. Everyone's dead. Yep. He gets to the tape, or the original copy, whatever the fuck it is. The original record. Yep. Throws it in the back of the seat of the car. Yep. Looks at Leslie and go, All right, stand here and count to whatever. I might be back. You may be trapped. So he drives around insulting the fuck out of Sammy. So I don't need you anymore. You need me. You You're need nothing me. without your fans. Look at you. Powerless back there. Huh? Pussy. Like, what are you, McFly? What? Hey, McFly, what are you? Chicken? chicken? What did you call me? And then he pops out, tries ripping through the fucking cage. Mm. <laughs> I love the cutbacks to Leslie. It's just like 17. 18, 19, cuts back to just violence. Then he crashes the car into the... The station tower. Yeah. Thing. And... Liz. Yeah. Hooray. Hooray. That Sammy's probably gone now. For now. For now. We never got a sequel, so... Never got, yeah, he's, he's, he's dead. Again. Hmm. Uh, they, they hug. They, they schmooch. And then it cuts to Eddie running the radio station. Yep. And that's it. Okay. Which is unfortunate. I think Nuke may have died. Yeah. That's disappointing. I like Nuke. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm <laughs> glad he got this job because he fucking he fucked his high school midterm. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Very true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that was it. It was trick or treat. Or, or trick or um, treat. Ragman. Ragman. That was fun. I and, did, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Next episode, we're starting the Halloween stuff, yeah. and we got something a bit uh, classier than usual for yeah. you. So I uh, look forward to that. And I've it, been Merrick the Meadow. I'm the Matt. You know what? If you like metal, check it out. Check, check it. it out. Also, good. definitely check out Tenacious D. Yeah, which you also reviewed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Fun time. Great movie. Yeah, that's it. Uh, had a good time. Good one. Recommend. Rock on, guys. Rock on. Party on, Wayne. You party on. <laughs> Oh, you're a guy. That's Kermit the Frog. Yeah. 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 Kermit the Frog should have been in Wayne's World. Yeah. We're not worthy. We're not. <laughs> Instead of, he should have been Alice Cooper. <laughs>